Yo, what's up guys? So as we know with this new Chapter 5 season, everyone's ranked have reset and therefore we're all on the grind back all the way up to that rank of Unreal. Now whether it's your first time getting Unreal this season or whether you get Unreal every single season and you're just looking to do it as fast as possible, this video and the tips within it will apply to you as I'm going to show you guys exactly how you can get to Unreal in Chapter 5 Season 1. Now, I'll be giving you guys a bunch of different tips about what you should do early game, mid game and late game in order to gain the most progress as quick as possible. So if this does sound like something that's going to help you out, please make sure to drop down below and smash that like button. The same for 25 likes on today's video and also make sure to subscribe as we go on the road to 3000 subscribers. But without further ado, let's start off by looking at the first tips for you guys getting to Unreal as quick as possible. Okay, so in the background is going to be some footage of me grinding ranked from the very first days of the season, so I'm gonna leave that on while I talk through everything. Now, one of the first questions I always get asked or people always wonder about ranked is what is the best game mode to play in order to actually rank up as quick as possible? Now, Epic Games are pretty unclear on this as they haven't talked too much about the ranking system, so it tends to be, and my general advice is, whatever ranked you believe you are going to be the best at. Now, just to clear up what that means, if you believe that you're going to be able to drop high kill wins every single Single game in solos then solos is the game mode for you if you have a strong duo teammate that you guys think you're going to be able to drop high duo kill games then that is going to be the game mode for you and the same thing goes for trios and squads so you need to be honest with yourself and think well am i more likely to you know have i got a trio or have i got three other players for example that i i can play with and we gel well together and we're able to get high kill games consistently in squads which is going to give you guys a more consistent chance of ranking up quicker than if I was to play solos, for example, I might not have as much of a chance of ranking up quickly. So it's important that you're honest with yourself and you think, okay, which game mode suits me the most and which game mode suits me in order to, you know, can I drop more high kill games in duos than I can in solos, for example? If so, then duos is going to be the game mode for you. So it all tailors around which game mode you're best at and which game mode you think you will see the most success in. It may be worth trialing out some different game modes on different days to see which one you enjoy the most and therefore are most likely to be able to drop the highest kill gamers in. But that's just something that I'm regularly asked and something we need to clear up at the start of today's video. Okay, so now the second tip I'm going to be talking about is all where you guys land in the very early game portion. My biggest piece of advice would be before you look to play that aggressive playstyle, which most people play in ranked. Again, we're going to do this for both different types of playstyles. We're going to talk about drop spots for a calm playstyle and an aggressive playstyle. So make sure you stick around to hear all of that to apply it to yourself as much as you can. But let's start off by talking about the aggressive playstyle. Even if you have the mind to W key ranked to try and get lots of kills, what you guys need to be aware of is that kills early games. So say, for example, we get a kill in the top 90 players, for example, that is actually going to be worth very, very little to your ranking progress obviously yes it is still going to benefit you but the chance of you dying is much higher at the start of a game when you have shambles loot compared to if you're taking you know a top 20 mid game fight where you're full hp and kitted up so something that i would recommend you guys doing is definitely learning a drop spot and being consistent with it for example this could be a smaller poi maybe away from the bus route or on the outskirts of the map where there's less people contested where you guys can learn the loot routes and the best places to drop in order to quickly loot up as quick as possible possible and get yourselves kitted as much as you can because something about this new chapter you guys definitely want to make sure especially with the new ARs in the game such as the striker AR that you guys are kitted up and full HP with lots of spare heals before you get into fights because you could be easily beamed and therefore be already down and have to heal before you get into fights whereas obviously if you guys have heals in your inventory and you're already kitted with max mats, you have much more of a chance of winning these mid-game fights, which again, later on in today's video, I will talk to you guys about some practice maps, which you can use to help your W keying in ranked. But again, if you guys are kitted up more in the mid game, you're more suited and ready to kill players compared to if you just have an off spawn fight where a lot of it can revolve around RNG. So again, make sure you guys are learning a drop spot. Now, if you are playing more of that calm play style, again, the same sort of thing relies to you guys as well, where you guys also need to be getting sort of a calm drop spot. But this is mainly one that could be not a names POI because names POIs are likely to be more contested. I do have some good drop spot tutorial videos on my channel. If you guys want to find some uncontested drop spots, that will help you be kitted out. So if you're 
you're playing more of a calm play style, looking to not play aggressive and just continue for that placement points, because again, placement has a massive factor in helping you guys ranking up, then I would definitely consider finding a drop spot on the outskirts of the map, which is very little contested, so there's not many people there every single game, and making sure you know that drop spot and you know that loot route, so even if you guys are contested, you are confident in that drop spot that you are able to either dip out and get away, or take the fight and potentially win that fight off spawn. So again, just making sure that you guys are fully looted up and ready before you go going to get into fights because fights later on in the game anyway a kill later on in the game is worth much more than a kill early on so there's no point risking going down early on in the game you guys might as well play safe at the start of the game and get yourselves kitted up so now we move on to our next section of today's video, which is going to want to be looking at our fighting in general. Now, whether this is fighting early game, mid game or late game, it's fighting practice in general, which is going to be the focus of this section. Now, of course, grinding ranked and running into opponents is obviously going to give you guys some very realistic and in-game experience, which will put you under the pressure in order to survive. However, there are also creative maps and creative made, obviously, game modes that you guys can play in order to help improve your fighting. So take this one, for example, which is the first of a couple which i'm going to show you guys which is going to be a speed 1v1 realistics map by ken beans now again i've popped the code up there on screen for you guys and you guys can see some background clips of me using and practicing in this map now the whole idea of it is that it's an up close 1v1 map where effectively it simulates you pushing an opponent's box or an opponent pushing your box and basically it's very quick situations where you have to adapt and fight the opponent and try and use peace control or other mechanics in order to win and be successful in these fights and again it does take turns alternating between the opponent pushing you and you pushing the opponent which simulates very often your fights which you haven't ranked Okay, so next up we have another map that is similar to the finest realistic 1v1s. This is going to be the clicks box fights made by Panfil. Again, the code is at the top of the screen. Now, the idea of this is to simulate you box fighting at the end of the game, whether this will be a moving circle for an end game, for example, or that you're pushing an opponent's box as we're getting into the latter stages of the game, or just, for example, a mid-game fight where you can choose to turn it into a box fight by boxing up and playing slow. Therefore, the opponent will have to push your wall or you will have to push their wall, which will simulate this experience of the clicks box fights. Now, again, this is continuous rounds against very good players in this, so it's very, very good practice for you guys ready for them in-game scenarios. Again, something I would definitely recommend practicing on. This, combined with the finest realistics, works really, really well to close contact fighting. And again, that helps you improve your mid game fights especially when you are w king players especially as you get higher up the ranks and the defense of the players starts to get better now let's look at our final map to help practice us with fighting in the end game so the third and final map which I have to show you is going to be Final Moving Zone Wars. Now shout out to Jivan for creating this map because it's very, very helpful in simulating that end game of ranked, especially when you get up to the higher ranks and there start to be more people at the end of the game. This also gives you good practice if you're looking to take your ranked skills into tournaments. Now in this you will spawn in and have to build a box around yourself. You don't get given max materials, so you have to be smart about looking for refreshes and which layer you're playing. Then there is can be up to around about 16 people in the lobby and you basically have to fight it all out in a moving zone zone wars the zone is always moving so you don't get time to chill you always have to adapt and play to the new layer and look for refreshes in order to gain your kills and therefore gain more mats to eventually go on and win. Very, very good practice to simulate them sort of smaller end games which you get in the higher portions of ranked as you get up towards elite and champion. The last thing I want to talk about and the main last tip of today's video is going to be patience and consistency. Now, what I mean by this is you're not going to hit Unreal in a day or maybe even a few days, even if you play insanely well. Just because the jump up throughout the rank system is very, very difficult and it gets harder to gain progress obviously the higher ranks you get so if you're trying to drop a 20 bomb in elite division you'll gain less progress than if you drop a 20 bomb in gold for example now this means that there is a significant impact on how quick you can rank up through the ranks especially as you get higher up so my best tip is don't get frustrated and make sure you're sticking to your drop spot and sticking to your game plan in order to continue playing consistently as getting further in the game gains you guys the most progress religiously especially as you get up into those higher ranks I really hope today's video has helped you guys out and if it has please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe for more of my Fortnite content which is coming very soon. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.